everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is Nicole and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and today I wanted to make a quick video for you guys to fill you in on the new features that have been released to Poshmark recently this one has been released this past week and it's actually a really cool feature that I've never seen them do before so I figured I would make a video on it and cover these features. The other couple are going to be features that have been released over the last couple of months that are probably new and you probably just don't know about them. So if that is something that is interesting to you, definitely keep watching and make sure that you're subscribed so you never miss a future video that I do here on this channel. Oh, and before we begin, I am testing out a new setup here. Let me know down below if you like this setup in the comments. I need to get a microphone because it's a little echoey in this area, but if you like this setup, let me know and maybe I'll continue to film here in the future. Okay, so the newest feature that they released to Poshmark in the last couple of days is actually the listing streaks. So basically, you get rewarded for a listing every week on Poshmark. So how it works is you list one item each week and it counts towards your listing streak. And I'll show a screenshot here of what it looks like, but basically every time you list one item in a given week, and I think the week starts and ends on a Saturday. So once you do that, then you'll get a point towards your listing streak. And every time you complete a streak milestone, you'll get a reward. So it looks like it's every four weeks or every three weeks that they give you that reward. I'm not really sure yet what the reward is. I've seen some people speculating and trying to Google what it will be. I don't know if it's going to be posh credit or discounted shipping or things like that. But it's still pretty cool that they're rewarding people for listing. I actually think they should have upped it to, you know, one a day or something like that, because I think one a week is still not enough to really make sure that you're making enough sales. So one a week is a little low for me, but hey, I'm really happy that they're kind of rewarding us for this. And I think this is going to be a really easy milestone for a lot of us sellers to um, get every, every time. It also gives us a little note in the app that says postures who list two weeks in a row are twice as likely to make a sale. So that just kind of motivates you even more to list more because it's telling you that you're more likely, you're 50% more likely to actually make more sales than somebody else. So if you haven't seen this listing streak option come up in your newsfeed, all you have to do is list something new to Poshmark and it'll come up on a screen with a pop-up saying new listing streak and it'll tell you to update the app if you haven't already done that. So definitely update the app and once you do that, then you'll see your listing streak and you'll see it every time that you, you know, add a new item each week. And how you access this going forward to check on how long your streak has been going is you go to the newsfeed tab, you go to all, and then you click on listing streaks and it'll show you your listing streaks and how active you've been and what rewards you've gotten and, and stuff like that. So actually, I know I just mentioned that I'm not sure what the reward is, but as I was looking at my screenshots, I see that they have posted what the reward will be. This will be a one buyer discount that's automatically applied to the next person that shops your closet within the next, I think seven days of, of your listing streak. And it automatically applies so you don't have to do anything. So as this isn't really that beneficial for sellers themselves, it's actually really helpful because it does get somebody that actually will purchase from your closet with a good discount. So if you have a friend or someone that you sell to in lives or, or different things like that, and you want them to purchase with a discount, this is a great opportunity to do so. And maybe in the future, they will change the reward to something else, or maybe depending on what level streak you're at, maybe the, the reward will be a little different. That's something that we will have to keep an eye out. As this is in the beta phases, we're not really sure what, what's gonna actually come of this, but this is just something new that they're testing out and I really like it so far. The next feature that maybe you missed is the no discount on the offer to likers. So recently, if you go into the offers to likers tab to make an offer to someone, you do not have to offer a shipping discount. It used to be that you had to lower the price by 10% and send a shipping discount. And now you don't have to do that, which is really great. I know they've been testing this over the last couple of months and I've been using it over the last couple of months, but I still see a lot of people that are not familiar and not aware that they are offering this. So I definitely suggest doing this and offering no discount, especially if your prices are pretty fair because you're actually gonna make more money because if you offer a shipping discount, you have to pay that shipping discount amount. And so if you cover the shipping you know, costs, it's coming out of your earnings. I have just been sending out offers without a shipping discount recently, and I've actually found that it's really working. I'm still making a lot of sales and I'm not actually losing as much money as I was prior. So I recommend trying this if you haven't already. Again, this is in the make it offers tab. Now I know there has been a way to send out an offer without a shipping discount prior, which is through the bundle, but through the bundle, you can only send out offers individually to people, but 
using the offer to likers, you can send it to all the likers on a specific listing. So say you have 20 likers on one listing, you can do this all in one go instead of having to send individual offers. So I do think the bundle uh, offer is still great and I still use that sometimes as well, but I use that mainly when I have a bundle of multiple items. The offer to liker is basically on one item to all of the people who have liked that item. Okay, and the last feature I'm gonna talk about in this video is basically just if you use promoted closets, there's now a way to see what items are being promoted the most and kind of seeing your top promoted items. So this is actually only available on the web right now. So if you're using promoted closet, you have to look at it on the web. It's not available on the mobile yet. Maybe they'll uh, push it out soon to those that are using the mobile, but basically it'll show you your top promoted listings and the you know insights that you're getting from that. So how many people are viewing those, those promoted listings and it'll show you, you know, your top 10 or 20, however many it shows you. And it basically is just showing you what listings this is really working on and maybe if you're getting a lot of interest on an item and it's not selling maybe you can you know change up the description the price or the photos and maybe you could help it sell so i think this is like a great way to see i feel like when i did the promoted closet beta about a year ago i had i didn't have access to this and i always wanted access to see what listings it was actually really promoting because i felt like they weren't promoting all of them equally and so it would have been nice to really be able to see what listings were getting a spotlight and which ones were not. So if you use promoted closets, I know some of us don't use it. Me personally, I just found it wasn't worth it. I tried the, the free trial of it and I wasn't making a lot of sales from it. But if you use promoted closets, definitely check this feature out. Again, you can only do it on the web. But let me know if you use promoted closets and if you have checked out your insights to see which items have gotten the most um, visibility in your closet and let me know if those items are selling for you or, or something like that. I think this is also really helpful because not only does it show you the number of people that have seen your listing, but it also shows you about the, the number of people who have actually clicked on your listing. So it shows you the impressions and the clicks, which is helpful because yeah, your listings could be shown to a lot of people, but if they're not clicking on it, it's not really doing anything for them to see it. So if you are showing your items and they're actually clicking on the item, then it's actually working and you just need to make sure that you're making a sale from it. So this is a good way to tell if you need to change something about your listing, if people are clicking on it and they're not purchasing. And like always, there will be future updates to the promoted closet as it continues. So I will make another video in the future of more things that have come out you know, with the app. But I just wanted to make this video because I know the at least the first one, the listing streaks is brand new and a lot of people are asking about it and talking about it. And I just wanted to make this video just in case you have missed it and you didn't know that this was a new thing. I have a bunch of feature videos on my channel here. So if you wanna see another one of those from the past, you could click on this video right here. And if you wanna see another video on reselling hacks that you should probably try and use on Poshmark that are gonna help you have more success on the app, you could click right here. But until next time, I will see you then.